So it's the 4th of July. A lot of folks are looking to obviously grill out today. Whether or not it is cloudy outside or raining, people dodging some showers, grilling is still the way to go. And joining us today to teach us some tips and tricks is Michelle Breheim with Longhorn Steakhouse. So, Michelle, let's get right Hi. to it. So. Let's start with the meat. What kind of meat are we looking at today? Ground ground beef, I presume. Yeah, we're gonna um, we're gonna make some burgers. Mm -hmm. um, I also did bring a few of our uh, you know most popular cuts this summer. Um, right up front here, you're gonna have the uh, New York strip. That's okay. gonna be a very hearty, very lean steak. Um, behind that, we have our Flo's filet. That'll be our most tender, one of our most popular steaks that we have. Very good. Um, yeah. Okay, Very well good. let's start with the ground beef. Okay. okay. So in terms of what we're looking at, 80-20, I mean the more juicy of a burger you're looking for, probably sure. the more fat you're going to get, sure. right? <laughs> well at Longhorn we do, um, you know, we make sure that all of our beef is fresh, never frozen. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And our ground beef is actually going to be the 75-25. Ah, okay. So 75 lean meat and then 25% fat. Perfect. So what so, is going to go in this in terms of the seasoning today? Well, um, today we're just going to go ahead, we're going to make a couple patties um, okay. and then we're going to season in with uh, with the salt and pepper. Um, we do have our signature prairie dust as well today. Okay, so a lot of folks, I think this is where it might differ for people. Either you mix the seasoning in and then you kind of like mash it up into the patties, or for some other folks, a lot of times, like what we're doing here sure. today, you make the patty, you flatten it out, and then you put the seasoning on. Which way do you recommend folks do it, and kind of why? Is there a difference? Um, I would recommend just seasoning the outside. Okay. Uh, you want to make sure that you do, you know, get a nice coating on there. Some of the seasoning will fall off when sure. you're grilling. Right. Um, what will help with that is to make sure that you do oil your grill. Very important. Keeps the, yeah. you know, your your steaks or your burgers from um, from actually sticking to the and grill. And how thick are we talking about for the burgers out here today? Looks like um, maybe. An inch and a half or so? Yeah, about an inch. Okay. Inch and a half. Looking good. Okay, so depending on obviously how you want your burger done, you could make it maybe let's say we'll do medium well today and medium rare. How do you want to do it? Sure. Well, we, um, do you get each? Yeah, we, we recommend about a medium for okay. a nice medium burger. You're going to, um, you want to keep it on about six minutes on each side. Six minutes mm -hmm. and then you're going to flip. And that'll give you a nice medium burger, a little okay. less if you're looking for more of a medium rare, a little bit more if you're more of a medium well, well done. Sure. Now I know so. earlier in the newscast we were talking about a lot of people are just going to eyeball the color, but the temperature should actually be like 160 degrees when you stick the thermometer in. So that's something to keep sure. in mind at home just to make sure it's actually thoroughly cooked all the way through. Even with chicken too, we want it. Oh yeah, want it hot. Yeah. And what do we have cooking over here right now? Yeah, I've had some burgers started. So. Okay. Um, so these are the same type of burgers. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, these look yeah. just a lot more, maybe round. Yeah. On the side. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right, we. So uh, six minutes on each side. Now I noticed we have some sides here today too. Sure. What are we going to be making as far as sides, or what have you already prepared? It looks like. Well, we've already um, prepared our finished uh, steakhouse burger, okay. um, which is going to be yeah, our eight ounce burger so seasoned with our prairie dust. Yeah. Perfect. And then we just added the American cheese, um, lettuce, tomato, and onion. Okay. And the corn too. I know we made this last time. Sure. I think it's Memorial Day. Yeah. Um, but just for folks who maybe didn't catch it, grilling corn. How long are we going to be grilling? Oh, grilling, if you're grilling the mm -hmm. corn, um, it's not very long at all. Okay. I mean, your grill should be about 500, 550 degrees. Wow. Um, so just so you get a little bit of the, you know, the char on there, flip it or turn it. Um, you don't want it to burn, obviously. And, right. Yeah, and then we also top it with our um, house-made crema and then our seasoned Parmesan um, grated cheese. Perfect. And the so. great thing about burgers, I mean, you can really throw in any side. If you want to be healthy, you know, maybe you could throw in a side salad. Sure. Um, you can also obviously do the corn here. The mac and cheese, if you want to splurge <laughs> a little bit, could be the way to go too, especially on a 4th of July for a lot of folks that are obviously having big parties over and families and things. So a lot of different options here. That's great. I want to get to the buns. Okay. So toasting buns, are you a 
pro toaster or not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to toast them or? Yeah, kind of, we've I've what's already your take? yeah we've already had them toasted. You know, just a little bit. You know, again, you don't want them too long and you don't want them to burn. Sure. So, um, so and then like it 30, keeps them nice and soft. Thirty seconds or yeah, thir thirty seconds, forty-five seconds, right around there. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to get back to sampling everything a little later. And if you are thinking about grilling out tonight and you're worried about the weather, Chelsea will have your updated forecast next.